guys and welcome back once again to my channel if you're new to this channel you're so welcome you're super welcome like i'm very excited to have you in my channel today for those that have been watching my videos like my other subscribers i'm super excited that you do come to watch my videos i am so grateful and i love you so much if you're just new to this channel why don't you just turn on the notification bell subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i release a new video you're going to get notified i have interesting videos here that you're going to watch and today we're going to be doing something more interesting yeah i just want us to have a, a little test of our iq how far we're going to make decisions i have some i would rather questions here that we're going to be looking at i actually have them written down in a jotter here so they're up to like sorry they're up to like 10 once again you're welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe please thank you so much so um number one question here is would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak Aha. would you rather lose the ability to read or the ability to speak hmm. losing the ability to read and losing the ability to speak who does reading help? Like, when you can speak, you can actually open a whole lot of doors. You can express yourself, you can express your feelings, you can express your emotions. And if you cannot write, you can actually also express your feelings and your emotions. At least when you cannot write it down, you can actually say those things with your, um, with your mouth, whichever way. So, I would rather choose to speak than write yeah, of course, there are so many people who are not able to go to school to learn how to read and write, but then they are still making their millions, they are still, you know, interacting with the society. So, why would I choose to speak and to write and not to speak? Yeah, the next question is Would you rather be in jail for a year or lose a year of your life? Would you rather choose to be in jail for a year or, or, or lose a year of your life? Hmm. This person is actually tricky, but let's see how we're gonna answer this. Now, would you rather spend a year of your life dead? Now, would you rather spend your life in Nigerian jail to be specific than and lose a year of your life? When you say lose a year of your life, it actually means that for a whole single year, your dreams are put to a hold. Like everything you want to achieve cannot be achieved like even if you actually sign for a contract that uh you're supposed to do this year for example you 2020 many people had a lot of things they wanted to do but because of the pandemic and everything in fact it's it, it practically as if our year a, a, a year of our life has been lost this year now you find yourself in a situation whereby you're supposed to choose between spending one year of your life in jail and then achieving your dreams which you go for? Well, um, a popular thing to say: once there is life, there is a way. Uh, I don't know how to put this right now. God, this question is kind of tricky. I really would love someone else to answer these questions on the question on the comment section. Well, I will go for after going for the journey, we still have to come back. Oh my god, this is so much. Um, yeah, okay, I would rather, instead of going to the gym, I would rather lose the year of my life. Yeah, I would lose the year of my life. So, um, number three is would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 20 minutes early? God, imagine the situation whereby you supposed to go for a place i've actually found myself in a situation like this i actually had things to do and i was supposed to attend a program or a meeting and then i went very early like very 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 early when i went very early yeah like i went to that place very very early like nothing was practically happening at all so i waited and waited for close to like 30 minutes so that the say 30 minutes I waited for like um like one hour and nothing was happening. I was bored. And I'm kind of person that if I don't have anything doing and 
you know, nobody's around to talk so I usually get bored except of course I'm at home I can actually stay at home alone but then I'm always I'll get myself busy but when you're in you a place outside your home that you don't have anything to keep you busy you don't even have television to keep you busy or you don't have you don't even have a video reading you're going to get bored now is it better for you to go to a place 20 minutes early earlier than the time or you go to the place 20 minutes later than the time hmm. well for surely they say it's actually the soul of business so i will go 20 minutes earlier than the time because it doesn't take anything from you it's just the bottom aspect of it yeah um another question is would you rather know the history of any object you touched or be able to talk to animals? Would you rather know the history of any object you touch or be able to speak to any animal? For example, you pick up a pen and you know the history of when, you know when the pen was invented, you know like who brought Okay, let's use Thomas Edison for example, who invented electricity. Now, you know, you pick up a bulb and you know who invented the bulb, you know when it was invented, you know the things that transpired before it was invented. Now, would you rather know, know um, the history of whatever was invented or you would rather um, know how to speak to animals? Like, you see a dog, you can be able to talk to a dog and you don't understand practically what you're saying. So, which one would you go for? Well, knowing the history of the uh, these things are knowing the history of something that actually probably for current affairs purposes or you want to go for a competition or something. And after that, I would rather know how to speak to animals than knowing the history of objects. Yeah, I don't know about you. The next question is would you rather give up all drinks except for water or give up eating anything that was baked in an oven? Would you rather give up all drinks except for water or you would rather give up anything that was baked in an oven? Many of us actually love soft drinks, love wine. For those of us that love soft drinks and wine, would you rather give up taking your soft drink, like taking your wine? Would you rather give it up? Or you can give up anything baked than in an oven. You bake your cake in an oven, put up this um, small chops um, for events, for parties and everything are baked in an oven. Would you rather give up anything baked in an oven? Most of our chicken most of us like chicken that are roasted in an oven. Would you rather give up those things? Which would you rather give up? I would rather give up drinks, yeah. I would rather give up drinks and actually do without that. So I can't give up those things that are baked in an open because of drinks. In fact, I've given up on drinks a long time ago. Just, just once in a while I give them. Um number seven is would you rather have an early job working for someone else? Would you rather have an easy job working for someone else? or work for yourself but work incredibly, incredibly hard. Like, would you rather have an easy job, a job that is very easy, you're working for someone but it's very, very easy, you find it easy, you pick, you pick, it, you pick something up and quit so fast and easy and then they pay you for it. Would you rather do such a job or you would prefer working for yourself but you work so hard, you're so tired, you get back home and you're so tired, you don't even have the strength to do anything. Which would you go for? Well, as for me, I don't need to think about this. We are in an entrepreneurial age whereby you work so hard to be a boss of your own. I've always been my dream. I've never dreamt to go to school and then come back to go and start searching for a job or working for someone. I can actually work for someone for the meantime, but my dream is to, by the grace of God, is to be a boss of my own, to be a CEO of my own. So, if I have the opportunity to choose between working an easy job for someone and get paid and then working for myself, I will work for myself no matter how hard it is. Yeah, no matter how hard it is, there's nothing like working for yourself. You have the peace. Even if it, it, it's a hard job, you have the peace of mind. Nobody is actually trying to push you. 
um, do this, somebody's trying to tell you to wake up by 6 a.m. or even to wake up by 4 a.m. Most times, most of us that work for people wake up very early in the morning and then you're running around you're trying to beat the traffic especially for those in Lagos you're trying to beat the traffic but when you're working for yourself you can decide to wake up by 8 and then you can, try, you can decide to wake up by 12 especially when you're not feeling so well but if you're working for someone you discover that you have to write letters you have to make appointments before you even decide not to go to work no matter how hard it is there is still joy in working for yourself. So I will work for myself and working for someone no matter how hard it is. Number eight, would you rather be the first person to explore a planet or be the inventor of a drug that cures a deadly disease? Would you rather be the first person uh, to explore a planet? Like you're the first person to go to space. Would you rather be the first person to go to space or the first person to explore a planet? Than, or would you rather be the person, to, the person to produce a, a, a healthy drug that kills the disease? Well, what else? Uh, I don't know how to put it, but I would rather be the person to cure a disease, to save life, than going to explore, be the first person, like if you the name, you want to carry the name, you are the first person to explore. Um, number nine is, would you rather have unlimited international first class tickets or never have to pay for food at the restaurant? Here you ask me to choose between traveling and um, not paying for food at all. Like go to any international restaurant, go to any restaurant of your choice. Would you rather choose between going to any country of your choice? Like you go to, the only thing they do for you is to go to that country like um sponsor you to the country and then you pay for every other thing you pay for your accommodation and every other thing would you rather choose that or you would rather remain in your country but you don't have to pay for or food in any restaurant to go to which one would you rather go for <laughs> well i think for those that love traveling a lot except for those that want to leave nigeria by all means in this case so they're not saying you're going to leave the country and then they're not saying they're going to sponsor you to the United States of America or the United Kingdom and then you, you like you're going to remain there. They are, okay, let's say they're going to give you a year. Would you rather go to eat in a restaurant for a year without paying or you would rather travel to abroad for a year or you would still pay for your food? Which would you rather go? Well, I'll manage Nigeria. Do you know what it means like you go to a restaurant and then you request for uh, one big chicken like that and you cannot pay, you will not pay for it or in fact anything of your choice like you request for it and you don't get to pay for it, do you know what that means? My dear, America can hold on, London can hold on, any of them can, Canada, in fact, Canada that I love someone can hold on, let me request for it. It's not so bad like this, but Man, that's it. If you don't eat, you will die. Um, number 10 is Would you rather be first to dance to every music you see or be first to sing to the music? Would you rather to be first to dance to the music or be first to sing to the music? It actually depends if you can sing. Especially and in the situation, the situation like you have the crowd, like the crowd is around you, and you're forced to sing or to dance. And in most cases, you don't even know the song. Which would you choose? My dear, I will dance. I will dance. <laughs> I don't know what I would choose to dance. It's better for you to dance, even if you don't know how to dance, at least just move your body, shake your body. Of course you can move your body, you're not sleeping. I would rather choose to dance than to sing. At least it's save you the stress of um, going off key, it's save you the stress of you know not knowing the song and then you go there to chew your mouth. So, 
I will go for dancing. So that's all for this question. I don't know if you love this. If you love it and you watch to this end, why don't you drop a comment at the comment section? Tell me I love it and I watch to the end to the end. Just drop at the comment section, I love it and I watch till the end. So it will help me know if I should bring something like, else like this. And if you, if you also have something else you want me to talk about on this channel, also drop it at the comment section and I would love to talk about what you want. Thank you for watching. I believe you enjoyed yourself. I believe you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, why don't you do me a favor by liking this video, like giving it a thumb up subscribe to my channel and please share with your friends like just drop the link on your whatsapp statuses and your facebook page and you can draw people to this channel and together we're gonna be happy thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe bye bye